Hi, I'm Jack McEnany, and like a lot of people here in Albany County in the Capital Region, we try to find places where we can show some of the places that maybe we've neglected. Maybe we were neglected because we were thinking all the interesting things are far away and we can't get there. Well, that's not true. We're going to come to the places that are right within our walking or eyesight or our distance or just a few minutes away and appreciate just how unique the community is that's our home. This is Thatcher Park, and this is where we started for today, and I can take off the mask for this one. This is something that is really unique to our area, to New York State, and it's something that some people like just for picnicking. I came here as a child, we used to start our fires with the, with the newspaper, the Sunday newspaper, and the family would come up here. My brother and I would wander. We just knew it was a very, very special place. Now, if you look behind me, you can see the bottom of the lake. The Great Albany Lake was one that filled with water, probably went from Glens Falls all the way down to Newburgh. And down in the bottom here, about 60 feet below me, there's a path. It's, it's known as the Indian Ladder uh, Trail. We know for about 400 years, the Native Americans, primarily the, uh, uh, the Mohawks, used the path. It was an easy way to know where you were, were wandering when everything was overgrown and this was all a forest. And that path is still there. And that's something that children of all ages love to get down on that, that path. For individuals and families from all over our area who want to see this magnificent view, want to look down and see the Empire State Plaza clearly uh, visible. But there are also people who just want to walk and they want to go uh, for a good distance, 12 miles go all through these woods around here and along the cliffs as well, as well as below the cliffs. So it's an exceptional place. And we have several varieties of hawks and they love these cliffs. And they love to go above us and scoop down into the valley below. And that in itself is just another reason to come up here. So there was a very, uh, very brilliant woman, a very sensitive woman. Her name was Emma. Uh, Treadwell Thatcher. She was the widow of the former mayor of Albany, John Boyd Thatcher. She bought up a lot of the land here. She gave it to the state of New York in uh, 1914 and made it a park for all the people. The question is, where do you go uh, when you've got the mask and you can't go into certain places, not without their mask, and you stay home and you're bored and you really want it to go far, far away? Take a look at Thatcher Park. You know it's here. Today we're at a part of Albany that really crowns the hill. It's called Capitol Hill. And it actually has several parks here that all have separate names. Right here we're an Academy Park. And it's always been Academy Park since the building behind me was built in 1817. And that was the Albany Academy. Some people call it Academy for Boys. And a number of very prominent people lived across the street on Elk Street. This was their neighborhood. This is where the kids went to school and something very significant happened in 1797, and that was the state of New York finally decided to have a real state capital, not one that kept moving every time the legislature moved. And so the Capitol building was put over there. The Capitol building was small by modern standards, and it looked right down the middle of State Street Hill. But the building that's there now, that was the largest public building being built in the United States of America, if not beyond never been finished. There's still areas that were planned but never really were built. It's one of the few, the very few capitals that doesn't have a dome. For a while they thought they'd have a tower with a dome, but uh, that was scrapped. And actually, it's a magnificent building. Across from me is City Hall. The same, same architect as one of the several architects that worked on the Capitol, Henry Hobson Richardson, built with very unusual stone contrasting and a very, very different style from the buildings next to it. 1842, the Court of Appeals was built. It was said it was built by convict labor, and it was. And it was also said that there was, at one point, a hidden staircase. A county courthouse is over there because it's a county seat, as well as uh, a major city, and as well as the capital. What's interesting about Capitol Park, it's a great place to take a walk. It's the greatest place for people watching. And it's just a place where the people of New York State gather. The diversity of it, in a way, is a reflection of the Empire State. We hope you will come back again and again. It's a very important part 
Capitol Hill. This is really the heart of the city. It's the bottom of State Street Hill. State Street is wide because it's probably among the widest streets, particularly of historic streets, uh, in the state of New York and beyond. And it went down to the docks. The docks were by the river, and it was filled with people from all over and in ships that came from Europe and beyond. And one other building of significance on the far south side is a very Dutch style building. That's where you bought your ticket. You would take the steamboat down to New York City or to one of the many attractions. And finally, in 1917, well, they decided to build something so beautiful, so magnificent, that it particularly most people think of it as Parliament. And the building is going to be extra tall and extra long. And so this is the DNH building. If you're going to have a focus on State Street of the Capitol building, what's going to be on this side? Well, we'll put the tower. And on the top of the tower, they put up a copy of Henry Hudson's uh, ship, the Half Moon. And that's still there. It's so big, you could actually sit in that ship. It's now well over 100 years old. It's a wonderful piece of architecture. Now we're in a very special place. It's different from some of the others. This is really an oasis. We're in the gardens of the Tenbrook Mansion. The Tenbrook Mansion was built by a revolutionary general, General Abraham Tenbrook. The general's wife was Elizabeth Ben Minster. She was a part of a family that if there was such a thing as a royal family or a noble family in Dutch Albany, uh, it would have been any Ben Minster. And he and his wife lived in downtown Albany. They designed a building that met their needs and was fashionable for the year 1798. And people who have buildings like that appreciate gardens. And these gardens today, they've been here as long as I can remember. These uh, grounds, are open all the time. All year round, people can wander in and out. This is a very quiet part of Albany that most people don't think of. This is an oasis. And that's why I like to come here. Okay, we're now at the Old English pub. Most people still think of the building as the Quackenbush House. The Quackenbush family are all descended from a man named Peter Quackenbush. And in 1683, he built a house right there. We know that the most famous member of the family was a revolutionary colonel, later known as Henry uh, Quackenbush. He later became a presidential elector. He became a New York State Senator. And this was a family home. The Irish Museum just opened up across the street. But this is a place where people come for more than just history. At the Old English pub is this wonderful private garden. And unlike some of the gardens we've seen, this is one that will make sure you're not going to be hungry. I hope you found some places, some old friends, and maybe found some new friends as you traveled and went through the, uh, the area here in Albany County that's, that's yours and available to you. And it needs to be appreciated and shown to your friends. Enjoy who you are and who we are and how great our community is. Thank you.